Today, we're going to film our most requested video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenny. And I'm Chrissy. And along with our six children, we're converting this school bus into an RV. So this question gets asked all the time. What is that question? Well, we're waiting. What's your layout? How are y'all going to fit? How is all eight of you going to fit in a bus? Well, we don't know, but we're going <laughs> to... Well, we're going to talk about that today. We're going to try to figure that out. We're going to film what we're thinking our layout's going to be. And anybody that's ever done a bus or a renovation, you know, stuff happens along the way. So it doesn't always turn out how you plan. But this is how we're planning it. So let's talk about that. We're going to start off in the back of the bus first, work our way to the front. So what we're thinking is... Those are our water tanks. Both of them aren't staying there. Water heater. You just have to kind of use your imagination. Imagination. And uh, this <laughs> <laughs> and just envision what we're talking about. Some little blue tape on the floor, kind of help mark stuff off. We're thinking our bed. We go in the back, the long ways this way. Over here, underneath, we'll have combo washer and dryer, and above we'll have. Well, let me, above, above that, a bunk for our daughter. And then underneath our bed, we'll have a little cubby slash fort for one of our sons. He likes building forts anyway. He thinks that's really neat that have a little, his own little fort. And the reason our bed will be going this way is because the plan is to have it be like a futon almost. It'll slide into itself. We can stack the cushions up like that because I have to also have an office. So there'll be a, a wall right here separating our bed, the bunk, and the washer dryer. And that can be where my monitor is for my computer. And I have a little fold down desk. Our bed can be here during the day. We'll slide into office mode so I can get that out of the way. I have a little spot to walk and be on my computer to work. That's why our bed will be going this way. It'll be a smaller bed. Some people put king size beds and buses. We're not going that route just because we need the space. And then if we're looking forward from our bedroom area, right in this area, right yeah, will be the shower. Shower. The composting toilet and maybe a sink. Directly right. across from it. Then we'll have a little hallway. Shower on one side, toilet on the other be separate and then right in front of those items or the so right here where the shower will end will be a small wall and then a set of bunks will start over the wheel well coming down past the wheel well and then pardon all the mess construction zone and then the other side in front of where the toilet will be be a wall and then another set of bunks over the other wheel well and we'll have two bunks on each side with a small walkway in the middle. And that'll be four set or four bunks total, two on each side for the other boys. Okay, and where the boys' bunks are, the bunks will lift up like their mattress area where their mattress sits, that's gonna lift up and they can put all their clothes there. So it'll be like a dresser for them underneath their mattress. Um, and then anything else they want to have. And then we may build some like little shelves for them so they can put like their uh, switch, their maybe a little light or something. Okay. okay, so then the bunks will probably stop by about right here. And then from there to right here will be some shelves. And then that'll be duplicated. On the other side in front of the bunks will be a narrow set of shelves. And then right next to this set of narrow shelves will be a stove stove top oven and then this set of shelves next to that obviously will be fridge next to the fridge have cabinet it's coming up in another video this probably won't be that big of a cabinet it'll probably be somewhere in here and there'll be a door on one side shelves on the other maybe and then countertop then directly across from that will be another cabinet area but it'll have a sink on top so everything's duplicated the last thing we'll have is a couch on each side, covered up with stuff right now, a lot of tools. In front of this couch, 
there will be a shelf that'll be for shoes or whatever on the bottom. On the other side, we can have the shelf facing the couch, and that'll be for books or coffee mugs or whatever. So basically from the front all the way back to our bedroom slash office will be a mirror image of each other. Couch, couch, cabinet, and then sink, fridge, stove, shelves, bunk beds. Bathroom. Uh, bathroom on one side, shower on the other. So it'll be mirrored all the way back. And the only reason it'll be different in the back is because we have multiple things going on back there. <laughs> now I really need a space to work. Uh, so we had to figure out some way to have a separate office area so I can have my computer set up. I really need a second monitor. To, I mean, I don't have to have one to work, but a second monitor makes life a lot easier for me. And our water tanks, one of them, the fresh water tanks gonna sit underneath the beds back here on the ground. And then the gray water tank will be hung underneath the bus on this side. And we'll need a black water tank because we're doing composting. All right, guys, so that was our layout. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed the video of our layout. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below if we didn't answer any specific question about our layout that you're curious about. And uh, maybe you think we're crazy. <clears throat> you like what we're doing, don't like what we're doing? Just let us know in the comments. We try to respond to every single comment that's left on our videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing so you can follow along on our journey as we finish this bus out in an RV. And uh, we'll see you next time. Life is a winding road